Hi everyone, I'm Farah Liana. Today, me and my friends Ira Wahada and Nur Amia Aina would like to present and show you something incredible which can help save the environment. Introducing the nanocytes, an eco-friendly herbicide for your plants. Let's talk about weeds. What are weeds? Weeds are unwanted plants in farms, garden, fields, and parks. Weeds can disturb and decrease the production of crops, which cause a huge damage to farmers. Therefore, to get rid of these unwanted weeds, farmer uses herbicides to protect their crops. However, the usage of herbicides can lead to other environmental problems. For example, when farmers spray herbicides to their plants, the herbicides can vaporize up to the atmosphere and cause acid rain. Other than that, too much usage of herbicide can cause soil contamination. Not only that, when raining occur, the remaining herbicides on plants and soil will run off into the water reservoir and cause water contamination. So the question is, how can we reduce the environmental problems caused by herbicides while getting rid of the unwanted weeds? In this study, we use zinc layered hydroxide or ZLH. ZLH is a nanomaterial that can help to reduce the environmental problems that was caused by herbicides. This is the structure of zinc layered hydroxide or ZLH. It has a layered structure with water molecule and anion reside within the layers. For the herbicides, we use 4-chlorophenoxyacetic acid or MCPA to intercalate with ZLH. This is the structure of MCPA. MCPA is used to control broadleaf weeds such as thistle and dots. It is used to help increase the production of crops. So, what are the significance of this study? This study is to provide an efficient and safe delivery system for herbicides that control the weeds growth. Not only that, this study constructs herbicides transportation which can minimize the release rate of herbicides while sustaining the environmental system. As for the objectives, there are three objectives of this study. The first objective of this study is to intercalate ZLH hosts with MCPA by using ion exchange and further with hydrothermal method. The next is to characterize ZMCPA by using ATR, FTIR, and PXRD. And the last objective is to study the control release of ZMCPA to the environment by using UV vis spectrometry. And here we present to you our friendly herbicides called nanocytes. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it.